Hello creepy friends, this is Britt and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be working on a witchy apothecary theme for my October bullet journal. I am going to do a collage for this setup, but I needed a central focal point for the cover page, so I decided to do a little uh, a little sketch of some Halloween adjacent items. So we just have like a potion bottle, a pumpkin, a candelabra, a spider web. I just threw a couple of things together. And so I'm just using this brown craft paper that has a sticker backing and my Sakura Pigma Micron pens. And then I will also be using a white jelly roll pen to do the highlights. I hope all of you have been doing well in September. I can't believe it's almost October. This year has been going so fast. And I want to thank everybody who's been watching for making my first year on YouTube so great. I appreciate all of you and thank you again. And if you haven't seen my October reading journal setup yet, I will link that up in the card and in the description box. And I did an, kind of an unconventional artistic setup for that one. It is pumpkin themed, but it's based on the art of Yayoi Kusama. So it's kind of very colorful, kind of pop art looking style. So if you haven't seen that one yet, check that one out as well. As you can see, I'm doing cross hatching and lines to do the shading, but I also wanted to get a little bit darker, so I also used this dark gray pen to make a little bit more contrast. And then I'll be using a lighter gray pen to put the shadows underneath the objects. Moving on to the collage, 
I recently purchased some of these washi paper sticker sets that have a lot of natural items. You can see butterflies, a lot of leaves, mushrooms, all kinds of things like that. So I will uh, link those things in the description box if you'd like to check any of those out. And since it is October and I was trying to think of something that was an appropriate theme for the season, and I had just gotten all of these uh, nature-inspired stickers, I thought kind of a witchy apothecary situation would be nice. So in order to really uh, convey that feeling, I added that uh, sketch to their left side so that you could get a little bit more of the spooky vibe with things. And originally I had done a sketch on the white paper on the left hand side and I didn't like it so I just covered it up with some extra black paper I had lying around and then redid a new sketch on the brown paper and I liked that a lot better. And I really like how we have the two different color backgrounds, the black and white, um, contrasting each other. So I think that turned out uh, nicely. It was a happy accident. I also got some new notepads of different colored paper. So it's hard to tell on camera, but the lined paper and the graph paper are actually two different colors. The lined paper is more of a tan and the graph paper is more of a green. It just isn't showing up uh, as different colors on the camera for some reason. But I bought a bunch of different colored graph paper notebooks to use as well. So I wanted to try out those because I think for 2025, I'm actually going to use a black paper notebook for my bullet journal. And I'm planning ahead and I need a lot of paper that I can paste into there to write on top of with black pen. So I got a bunch of notebooks and so I wanted to test some of those papers out in here. In order to add some of the black paper to the right hand side, I'm just using it for the October title and using a white gel pen to write it in a typewriter font. I'm still figuring out my particular collage style and I'm finding that I like it to be a little bit less busy than some other people's collaging styles. Some people are really good at really doing a lot of layers uh, and things like that. I find that to be a little bit difficult and I kind of like a slightly cleaner look I think. So I do enjoy this collage style but I think I tend to put a little bit less stuff on the page and leave a little bit more white space. And for the last touch on the calendar spread and the title spread, I'm just adding these washi tape dot stickers for a little extra something. And I chose the reddish and the greenish and grayish colors to go with the color theme. And that's the cover page. So we're going to have five weeks in October. So I actually needed two and a half spreads basically to get five weeks in here. So you'll see here I have two weeks in this box theme. And I really like this box uh, setup that I did last month in my bullet journal. So I'm actually going to do that for the first four weeks and just kind of shift to where the blank box is. It gives you a nice little space to do your decoration. It makes it a little bit easier. And I'm using this skinny washi tape to do a border frame around the page. And then you'll see I'll remove the side pieces. I thought it was a little bit too much. So I just left the tape on the top and the bottom. And now I'm going in with more craft paper and uh, botanical things to decorate these little corner places. As I mentioned in last month's bullet journal setup, I'm still getting used to doing this kind of collage style. And so it takes me a really long time and I cut out 
a whole bunch of video because I tried like 15 different things before deciding which stickers and pieces of paper and things I was going to use. So it actually, I think it takes me longer than drawing uh, themes because I'm just not used to it yet. And of course I had to take every opportunity to add mushrooms into every single thing that I do. I cannot leave mushrooms out. So I will have mushrooms on either side here, some ferns, and I also like these kind of little, I guess they're like a seed catalog print from an old seed catalog, the little pieces that look like newspaper. So it's a pretty, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a subtle hint at an apothecary, I guess. There's not, it's not a on the nose type of thing. I didn't draw like the apothecary shelves and all the jars and things like that. Um, but I think you, you get the point. <laughs> So that finishes up the first two weeks. Now moving on to the second two weeks, like I said, you see that I used kind of the same setup, but I just changed which corners the blank spaces were in. And in order to differentiate these from each other, I decided to make this one more of a green theme. Since on the cover page uh, or the title page, I used green and red. And the first two weeks was more red uh, heavy, so I decided let's make this one more green to make them look different from each other. And so I had a bunch of these insect and butterfly papers, so they had some nice green shades in them, so that's what I went with here. And these craft paper label sticker things, I also bought in anticipation of using the black paper journal for 2025, and so I'm just testing those out here as well. They're pretty fun to use, and they give a nice little bit of texture. Then for the final week, I just had one week left and I wanted to have enough space here to put a task list and space for some notes. So I just did a very simple column with seven boxes in it for the last week of October here. For the titles, I'm doing them the same way that I did on the first page and just using some black paper or some craft paper and white gel pen. And here's my trusty corner cutter that I love to use for everything.
I wanted to bring some more of that black paper in, so I just use a little rectangle of it in the background to do some layering here. And then this piece of graph paper will be where I can write some notes. This is a beige zebra mild liner, and I'm just coloring every other line just to make it a little bit easier to read on the task list. And then I'm just adding a few last stickers to wrap things up for this October setup. Now we'll do our flip through of all the pages. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you'll join me for my next video, which will be my September reading wrap up. And that will be in two weeks from now. And I hope you'll join me also in November and December, since it's the end of the year and the start of the new year, I'll have about double the amount of videos that I usually make. So that'll be fun. I hope to see you all there. If you'd like more content from me, check out my website, bibliocreep.com, or my Instagram, the handle is at biblio underscore creep. Please be kind to yourself, take care of yourself, drink your water, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.